Hey, my name's Chris, and I'm an engineer here at National Instruments. Today, I'm going to show you how to use shift registers in LabVIEW. So when using loop structures like a while loop or a for loop, shift registers provide a way to pass data between loop iterations. So they're useful for performing running calculations like a moving average. So let's go ahead and jump into LabVIEW here, and you'll see I've already got some code dropped down. I've got a while loop with a wait function that's designated to iterate once every one second. And I've also got some code that's going to generate a random number between 1 and 10. And so if I run it, we can see once per second I get a new random number in my indicator. So if I want to add a shift register, I can wire up the output of my random number generator to the edge of the while loop, and then I can right click on the loop tunnel and select replace with shift register. So the right shift register is going to input the value from the current iteration, and the left shift register is going to output the value from the previous iteration. So if we create an indicator off the left shift register, I can move that indicator right below our random number, and when I hit run, we'll see our current random number will be on the top indicator, and the bottom indicator will show the random number from the previous iteration. So a single shift register will hold the value of the previous iteration, but I can also use stacked shift registers to hold values from multiple iterations. So to add a stacked shift register, I just right click on my current shift register and select add element. And so I'm going to go ahead and add four more shift registers so I can hold the values of the last five loop iterations. And so in this case, what we're going to do is perform a moving average on the last five random numbers. So in order to do that, I need to sum up all of the values. So I can right click, go to numeric, and I'm going to use the compound arithmetic function. And let's drop, drag that down so now we have five inputs. And I'll wire each of those up. And now I need to divide those elements by 5. So I'll drop a divide function and create a constant of 5. And then the output of that will be my moving average. So if I hit run, uh, we can see in the top indicator, now we have our random numbers. And now the bottom indicator is showing our moving average of the last five random numbers. And so that's how you use shift registers in LabVIEW.